If you can't get enough of Earthworm Jim, then you're in luck. Today's retro spot, we're going to be looking at the Playmates Earthworm Jim figures, and today we're going to be looking at Psy Crow. Psycro, of course, is in the game and uh, looks very cool so far in package. I'm very looking forward to getting this guy out of the package and having a better look at the figure. Um, before we do that, though, we'll look at the package. Comes with super spring loaded blaster gun. And on the back of the package, I'll try to keep the read up a little uh, lighter this time than what I did with the Earthworm Jim figure. Uh, the other figures in this wave, we've got Earthworm Jim with Snot, even though Snot was red. Uh, we've got Princess What's-Her-Name with Runt Zerb Guard. We've got Monstrous Peter Puppy with Peter Puppy. We've got Earthworm Jim in Special Deep Sea Mission Suit with Special Mission Snot. We've got Battle Damage Earthworm Jim with Battle Damage Snot. We've got Psycro here with Major Mucus. We've got Henchrat with Evil the Cat. And we've got Bob with number four. The read-up, the snip and segment for Psycro. I'll try to read this through quickly here. It says, Psycro's worm-wrecking weapons and accessories are spring, uh, super spring-loaded blaster gun, handheld worm-gutting gun, cruiser jetpack, and super sonar sensitive antenna. It says, welcome to Psycro's most wanted super suits. I'm your host, Psycro, and this disgusting slime ball is my faithful co-host, Major Mucus. Say howdy to the people, Major. <laughs> Tonight's episode focuses on what? On that weenie worm, Earthworm Jim. I know what you're thinking, this is a rerun, but I assure you, it is not. It has been my mission since the beginning of the show to track down the super suit swiper and retrieve the queen's powerful suit. Together with your help, we can bring this so-called super hero to the down, uh, of the downtrodden to justice. Throughout the show, I'll be patrolling the universe with my cruising jetpack armed with my super spring-loaded blaster gun. If you have any information on the whereabouts of Earthworm Jim, call the Worm Tip Line, and within seconds, I'll blast Jim with my handheld worm-gutting gun. Your help uh, could bring this uh, pilfering pain in the, in the beak to justice. Last week, the hot tip came from Professor Monkey for a Head, who saw old slimy toes Earthworm Jim uh, came from Professor, from Professor Monkey for a Head, Oh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm reading over this here. Um, who saw Earthworm Jim dancing with the night away with Princess What's-Her-Name. There you go. Apparently, Earthworm Jim has tuned in too, and unfortunately, he got away before I was able to lock in on him with my super sonar sensitive antenna. Better luck this week, Professor Major Mucus will be manning the phones all night long. So keep those tips coming. And now a word from our spawns. Look out. It's a cow. Splat. Wow. I gotta say, these read-ups are draining. Um, they are interesting, though, and kind of kind of cute how they've, uh, they've worded some of these. Um, but that's packaging. Very long packaging, eh? Uh, what we'll do is we'll get Psycro opened up, and we will get a better look at Psycro. So stay tuned, guys. There's so much, so much on the way. And here we have Psycro out of his package. I've already installed both the jetpack that he came with, as well as the antenna. Um, and he is very cool looking. He is very cool looking. Um, uh, despite the package, despite the package, it doesn't actually look like you can take his head out. And if you look at the actual package itself, I just pan it in there. Uh, you'll actually see that his helmet is removed. Um, the way they've actually installed the helmet, they've got his head on the inside of it, and you can't open this, which is probably fine because you don't necessarily need it open anyways. Um, the one thing that's disappointing, and it's not this figure that's disappointing, uh, but it's the fact of Major Mucus here. 
Major Mucus is nice, bright green. He's got the white in his eyes. He's got the red inside his mouth. Even the white teeth. Very, very nicely detailed. Nicely painted. He's very, very bright. You know, the detail there. He's got a Mr. T kind of mohawk here. Uh, I'll just put Psycro down here for a second. Um, if I bring in Snot, on the other hand, that came with Earthworm Jim, the main character in this entire line, poor Snot has been relegated to being all red. Looking at Major Mucus, looking at Snot. The fact that they put this much emphasis and this much care, uh, if you can see it in there as well, it looks like Major Mucus was a yellow character and they've they've painted him. Why they couldn't have done it with poor Snot here, because poor Snot's all red. Doesn't make much sense, does it? Anyways, uh, Major Mucus looks pretty good. like the detailing on him. Uh, he, and looking at Psycho, very, very cool. Um, he's packed to the rim with detail. You got his feathers here, you can move. But he, uh, they've done, they've put a lot of time. Uh, the coloring is very bright on Psycho here. I like the, the blue, the yellow, the red, and then of course the black on his head and the arms. Uh, really complements this figure overall. Um, I'm very, <laughs> very cool, very cool figure. The one problem I have with Psycho though is uh, in the way of his articulation, you, you can move his head, which is kind of attached to the the uh, the actual uh, dome that he wears. You can move his arms, which is a little tight here. You can move his wrists, but when it comes to his legs. Uh, his legs are on a peg on the inside here and you can move the leg ever so slightly in and out on the one side here. The other leg though because his foot angles down you can move the leg slightly in and out you can kind of move it back but it, they've done it in such a way that it means he doesn't stand well you kind of, you can't really get him in that good position, you know, where he's not going to topple over. Certainly, the backpack doesn't help with that either because it makes him very back heavy. Um, that really is the only thing that's wrong with this figure. Uh, if that was not the case, this is a really cool, cool figure of a very cool character as well. Um, in the way of his accessories. He, uh, he does come with uh, two. I'll just put him down for the second here. Um, he does come with, I get the actual name here, the handheld worm gutting gun. Certainly it's just one solid piece of plastic. You can't really do too much with it. He also comes with his spring-loaded blaster gun with firing worm hook. And you'll see that it's a hook, a missile firing hook. And it's got a the actual uh, um, it's got a line that's attached to a wheel that you can actually unravel, as you can see here. And there's a little switch on the top. Uh, the different color as well from the rest of the uh, gun, except for the hook. So that's nice. You can actually see where you're going to be pressing it. You fire that off, and uh, you have a firing hook. Pretty cool. Uh, the hook. The blaster here, you can put into his hand. Uh, one thing I just noticed now as I'm putting this or trying to put this into his hand is the fact that the paint, the paint on his hand seems to be coming off slightly onto the actual yellow. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, no doubt the black is probably painted over Probably painted over a yellow. That's what I'm thinking. But there you have Psycho fully armed, ready to go after Earthworm Jim. Very, very cool. Um, I probably won't have him displayed. See, you can see the black that's coming off here. I probably won't have him displayed with uh, the larger gun, but I probably would have him displayed with the smaller gun. Very cool figure. So far, this is my favorite of the Earthworm Jim figures. As much as I like, obviously, Earthworm Jim, uh, everything about this guy is really nice. 
except for the one problem with the leg. Uh, Psycro here, I'm going to give an 8, an 8.5 actually too. And I'm looking forward to getting the other figures opened and reviewed. So stay tuned. If you're a fan of Earthworm Jim, there's so much more to come. If you're not a fan of Earthworm Jim, I'm, I'm, so, I'm very sorry. But uh, that was a toy spot on the Playmates Earthworm Jim figures. Today we were looking at Psycro. I'll see you guys next time.